Hello people, how are ya? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. Right, welcome back yet again, people. I hope you're good. I am going to try for a smooth hand. I am at Beltinch, Ocean View Car Park. The sea is as flat as a witch's tit as they say, because we have southerly winds and I'm on the North Kent coast. Um, it's for daytime, it's not the perfect tides, it's not the perfect um, time really to come down here because it's actually only the afternoon, it, well I say the afternoon, it is at the moment quarter past four, high tide is at half past seven, so I'm over here now, um, yeah High tides at half seven, I'm gonna fish it up three hours and I'm gonna fish it down a couple of hours. Really, you wanna be fishing for night when you're fishing for the uh, hounds of the shore, off the shore, uh, because they're coming a lot closer where they've sort of got the coverage of the night. So I'm gonna be going down there and having a go for them. The main idea of today's video is to show you how to use the dynamite, the invincible dongle rigs. Um, not a lot of people know about them, and I'm telling you now, they've made my catch rate go from here to here. It's not so I'm gonna catch today, because I probably won't. But I'm here to have a go just to show you to uh, demonstrate. That was a word I was looking for. To demonstrate how to use them. So, I've got some peter crab. And I've got some ragworm because there has actually been some stingers seen in the area. A friend of mine's got a boat very close in and four foot water. I saw a massive five to six foot wide stingray. Um, they're renowned around this neck of the woods, to be honest with you. But yeah, I've got some peelers. All nice and soft. Not massively soft, but little ones. People use big ones. I've got some big ones. Don't get me wrong. I've got some big ones. Got some really angry little fellas like this geezer here, which is a peeler. Um, I fell a victim to the, ma the pe uh, peeler crab mafia, and I had to go and buy them. One pound forty a crab. I was really sick in my mouth, to be honest with you. It's a joke. And I found that three of them were, well, <laughs> to be honest with you, a good majority of three of them were peelers and uh, pit three of them are peelers and the rest of them are hardbacks meant to be peelers, not peelers I'm not going to name this German tackle shop because I can't be asked for the negativity but yeah, £1.40 for hardbacks I could have gone down the road and got hundreds of them there you go, here's what it is but yeah, I'm going to show you how to use a dongle rig I'm going to try and catch a fish and I'm going to sit by the beach happy days see you in a sec, let's get down there right, so where we are we're down on the beach the water is absolutely crystal clear which is lovely no, I'll show you how to set up. I buy my rigs off a guy called Gav, Gavman Shaw Rigs. So you've got your main line tied on there. Then it goes down and it basically works the same as a pulley dropper rig. So fish comes up over here. You hook this. It's quite hard with one hand. Over there. Actually, suss out the camera. Like so, just comes up, hooks over here. It's not very clear. That hooks over there, and then this pulls down and clips onto that bait clip. And then when it releases, when it hits the ground, it all undoes. And this line sits over here, and your lead sits over here. But the difference between this and your normal pulley rig is the dongle, which is basically a hair rig on a circle hook. And what you do is you get your bait, which I'll show you in a second, and you elasticate it to this. And instead of hooking your hook over the hook, which you would on a pulley dropper or a pulley, whatever, pulley panel, um, whatever, whatever way you're doing it, whatever, whatever rig you're using, whatever clips up, basically, you use this small little loop here, and you click that onto that and then when that hits the ground that release bobs your uncle I 
I'll get it baited up and I'll show you how to bait it up because it'll make a lot more sense when I can actually string it up and show you at the minute I'm trying to do everything with one hand. So the problem with being a, a one-handed one-man YouTube gang, no one's here to help me. <laughs> so leave it with me. Just put a fresh bit of crab on. And then I will show you. Alright, so all baited up, ready to go. So excuse the presentation because each to their own but that's my crab hanging out so you see the little dongle bit basically your hair rig like i said there's a loop at the bottom so you clip it onto there and then you clip it up normally like you would on any pulley rig like i've said and that is ready for casting well that's both rods out one's on the pulley panel one's on the pulley dropper i'll show the clarity of the water it's beautiful man but this is why you want it at the night time. Look at that, it's lovely for North Kent coast. Obviously those who watch from Cornwall and stuff, that's just normality, but down here, that's a rarity. The weed is starting to form, the old May weed. That'll be in a full force. You get sort of two, three weeks to smash these hounds and then you just become a pain in the ass of weed. But uh, yeah. Like I say, don't expect to see many fish in this video. It's more about showing you how the dongle works. Um, yeah, so. But fingers crossed we do get a fish, but I won't count my horses. I don't even know if that's a saying. <laughs> yeah, sweet, happy day. Hopefully I'll bring it back to a fish. Nothing to report yet. Only been here about half hour. He's not had anything over there either. I've got one in quite close. And then one, I don't know if you can see it. I'm not a million miles off of that boat. I mean, I probably am, and I don't think I am, but yeah, I've pinged it out as far as I can. But I've got one quite close in. And right about here, just in case there's any bass. Put some rag on that. On a dongle again, but a pretty, pretty panel dongle. But yeah, like I say, not expect too much. Well, it wasn't meant to be, and this is going to be a super short video because I didn't want to just bore you with me talking rubbish. Um, but yeah, that's that's how you do the dongle rig. Um, I hope it's clear enough. If it's not clear enough, just drop me a question, drop me a drop me a comment or whatever you need to do, just to uh, sort of uh, if you need, if you need any advice as such. I will never claim to be a super duper beach fisherman. I will never claim to be a good fisherman. I can catch a shark or two. I do find myself quite knowledgeable on shark fishing um, and I'll be doing a lot of tactics and techniques videos and that in a couple of weeks but I'm just a generally normal person goes out fishing and records it and just tries to just tries to be a good person my 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 channel is a small part of what I do I've got um, a Facebook page which is a 24 7 mental health service which I will literally offer help to people I do charity work and I just generally try and be a good person if you don't know already, I used to be a raging drug addict. Uh, I've got a criminal past and I weren't a very good person. And nowadays I try and make up for it. So yeah, I'll keep the video short. I'll keep it sweet. If you haven't already, uh, have a look through the other videos where I actually catch some fish. But yeah, that's just how to, uh, how to set up a dongle rig and what's the main idea of it basically. So enjoy your evening, take care, and I will see you soon. Much love.